There's two different species of barnyard grass that are common in the northern region. We've got ornless barnyard grass and barnyard grass. The one that we find most commonly in cultivation is ornless barnyard grass. And as the name suggests, ornless barnyard grass doesn't have awns on its seed, whereas barnyard grass does. A couple of other distinguishing factors between the two species is that ornless barnyard grass grows closer to the ground and is less upright than barnyard grass. So ornless barnyard grass quite commonly will have a purple banding across the leaf that you don't find on barnyard grass. That purple banding, however, is not always present. Most commonly it's present when the plants are stressed. One of the characteristics of barnyard grass is that you can have multiple flushes of emergence throughout spring and summer. Because of the nature of multiple emergences of barnyard grass, it means that you will have to implement management on, on numerous occasions throughout a fallow. Going back a number of years, it wasn't unheard of for growers to be applying six or seven applications of glyphosate in a fallow. As a result of that though, now we've got issues with glyphosate resistance in ornless barnyard grass. One of the key tactics that's effective in, in controlling ornless barnyard grass, and it's still a herbicide based approach, is the double knot tactic. Uh, so there's also variations to the double knock tactic where you can put in a residual herbicide, probably as part of your first knock, that can then provide prolonged control of subsequent flushes of emergence throughout the fallow. An individual ornless barnyard grass plant can produce up to 42,000 seeds. That seed does have a dormancy, so if that seed is produced in one summer, it's not going to be viable and ready for germination until the following summer period. The seed of ornless barnyard grass is fairly persistent, however that persistence is impacted by the depth of burial. If the seed's left in the top two centimetres of soil, there's only about one to two percent remain viable after two years. However, if that seed is buried to 10 centimetres, up to 20% of that seed is still viable after two years. Thornless barnyard grass, even though there's only about 2% left after two years in a zero till type situation, if you've got 2% of a huge number of seeds, you can still have a lot of seeds in that soil bank. So it's one of those species where you're going to need ongoing control over a number of years, even if you've driven the seed bank down over that two year period.